You made it! You are in the fifth pace of Algebra 2. When we get to the sixth pace, you'll be halfway done. Woohoo! Let's um, jump in here, actually, at page 11. Page 2 is actually just kind of review. I think you'll find that pretty easy, and the score key has uh, the steps they followed to get the answer. So I think you should be able to do that. I just want to explain a little bit here about page 3 and um, walk you through two of the problems, at least get you set up, okay? <clears throat> A negative exponent means we're going to take it to the other side of the fraction, other side of the, I always call it the magic line. When it crosses over the line, it changes and becomes positive. All right, so we'll leave this on the top. Here's the line. And then this is going to drop to the bottom. And the negative exponent becomes positive. So now we can just leave it like that. But we're not actually done because I'm looking at this and seeing that both of these have a common factor. What if I factor out x? Then what would I get in parentheses? x minus 1. Do you see that? If you did distributive property again, you should get this back again over x minus, oh, okay, I can't go any further. You Hopefully you can see what to do to finish that one. That's pretty easy. All right, here we go. On this one, the negative exponent is going to flip to the bottom, so we'll leave this q minus r on the top. Then we're going to have q plus r in parentheses squared. Now remember, and every time we do one of these, I have students who think, oh, I know what that is. That's q squared plus r squared. But remember, we can't do that. We can't just distribute the negative. We actually have to multiply it times itself. Okay, so it's like this parentheses times the same thing. And now we have to do the FOIL method. So you're going to do q times q, and then qr, and then another qr, and then the r times r. So again, I don't think I'm going to go any further with that, because once you have those and you've combined the like terms, you should have three things in the denominator, and then we'll just have the q minus r in the numerator. And we can't cancel anything. You might think, oh, I have a q down here in the bottom and a q on the top, let me cancel. No, nope. this is like a protected quantity, and we can only factor it out or cancel if we have the same factored quantity on the top and the bottom, then that will cancel out, okay? Sometimes it gets a little confusing, but if you just kind of tune into that and follow those rules, I hope you will uh, get the right answer. So the negative exponent means take it to the bottom, and then we solved it out by taking that positive two exponent, multiplying this quantity times itself, and go ahead and do the FOIL method and you should have the right answer. They don't give you too many problems. They give you a few more on that page and uh, get a little practice and then make sure you score. Score right away, every day. Don't wait until you get to the checkup to score. Look at what they're doing when you're, when you're grading it. You should have shown your work and then you can look back and see uh, if you made a mistake, see where you made your mistake, okay?